I've got this irrational desire to bite a ginger because they look so delicious and they smell so nice and I've actually got permission to do it and it's moderately hot apparently. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, gee, it's nice. Actually, it's getting a little bit hot now. I'm glad I did not get a bigger bite. But God, it's delicious. Mmm, a bit fibrousy, but beautifully fresh. I've never had one this fresh in my life. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> any chance for water? The compounds in ginger can be hotter than those in chili. I think I'll just have another one. Mm. Oh. oh, God. What's it taste like? Um. I'm tasting volatile oils and, and various sorts of fats. It's kind of like wasabi, where it comes in and it goes, but it's not going, so it's more like, ah, oh, thank heavens, thank you. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna refrain from having another bite. According to the peer-reviewed literature, the medicinal qualities of ginger are real, but confined to nausea. So it definitely seems, and that's a definite maybe, to work in motion sickness and just nausea from other reasons, such as chemotherapy or problems with the middle ear. All the other claims, curing sunstroke, syphilis, varicose veins, making your handwriting better, nah. This, Carl, is our ginger that we're about to wash and dehydrate ready for our ginger beer. So this is how it comes from the farm. Yep. This is Queensland gold. Oh my yeah. God, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a, it's a special can type can of I, ginger. Can I, can I break one and sure. smell it? Sure. This is different from what I've got in the fridge at home, mate. Yeah, well at home, it'll usually be a little bit woodier. It has less ginger bits. This is mostly used for our style of thing, for cooking. So ah. it's more the commercial ginger whereas Canton is more a domestic or a, a, a non-commercial ginger. But the flavour's not as good, you said. Well, don't tell everyone that, because okay. we want the oh, ginger. It's our secret. It's our secret. Right, so, okay. Oh, my heavens. Ginger, as you oh, know, is oh. really potent stuff. Oh. 8,000 tonnes of ginger are harvested each year in Australia. You see, it's a rainforest plant. So the warmth and humidity of southeast Queensland is the perfect climate for such a water-hungry spice. Here we've got really rich uh, clay soil, which is very, very fertile. And ginger's are extremely hungry crops. So our rich, fertile soils is, makes it perfect for growing ginger in. And also, it's a, a clay, so it can hold on to a lot of moisture. And it's also very free draining as well. So. That's what ginger needs. It can't be sitting in water. Clinton Crust is a third generation farmer who's been growing ginger for the last 11 years. And it's been a steep learning curve. It's one of the hardest crops to commercially grow in the world. We do have droughts and we do have floods, so if it sits in water for too long, it will go rotten. When we have droughts and we don't have enough water, we can't get the yields as well. And you'd think, looking at its warty, tough exterior, it would be easy to simply machine harvest, but it actually needs a gentler approach. We're hand harvesting here today because it's so delicate. Yeah, we can't damage it, could cause it to go rotten and lose that good flavour. So yeah, we pull all the mud and, and the roots and the tops off, and then we take it back to the shed and, and wash it from there. And also, contrary to popular thought, it's not a root. It's a rhizome, but yeah, this is technically the roots here. So that's what's pushing through the soil and getting the water and the fertiliser and storing it in, in this um, rhizome. So it's different to root crops. The ginger grows horizontally in the soil, whereas a root crop like carrots or like turnips, they grow vertically in the soil. It takes between eight and 10 months to grow. So this is the Queensland variety, and it's perfect for making ginger beer because of its high phenolic compound that's in it. So that's called ginger rolls, and it's very high, and it's a very, very consistent flavour throughout the entire crop and they've found it's the perfect variety for making ginger beer with. 